We're Megan and Matt, and we love trains. We're traveling from London, England to Aberdeen, Scotland, and back. On the most popular overnight train in the UK, the Caledonian Sleeper. In this video, we're going to be comparing the standard seat experience to the most luxurious room that you can get on the train, the Caledonian Double En Suite. Welcome to Aberdeen Station, where we're going to take the Caledonian Sleeper overnight to London. We're here at Euston Station in London. We're going to jump on the Caledonian Sleeper for the night and end up in Scotland. This entire journey should take almost 11 hours, and in the morning, we will be waking up to the beautiful Scottish Highlands. We booked the double on suite and with that ticket we were allowed to go into the first cast cast lounge. <laughs> the first class lounge and honestly it was not that great. There was not a lot of food and just cans of still water. But it was a nice quiet place to hang out while we waited for the train to arrive. So let's get on the train. It's not here yet. All right, let's see how this compares to the standard. With a standard ticket, they wouldn't let us in the first class lounge, so we're just waiting. T minus 10 minutes until we board. I'm so excited. Uh -oh. It's the very first watch on the lift. You are a seven. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we can probably just stuff it up top. We were getting on at car B4. <laughs> Excuse me. All tight. Honestly, expected it to be a little bigger, but I'm happy to have a bed. So a little tour. We have two seaters and one seaters. I'm gonna show you the one seater. I would say it's very close to an airplane seat, but a little higher on the back. We've got our table, USB, plug. We've got our amenity kit. We have a little reading light. Okay, a footstool. The most important part is the recline. Am I doing it right? Recline! Oh, maybe I need to push more. Each seat also has a safe, so if you want to put your valuables in there overnight, you definitely can. We're in a double seat because we booked our tickets together. Welcome to the Caledonian Sleeper Ensuite. This is the biggest room you can get on this train, and it goes overnight to London or the other way. Let me show you around the room. We've got our double bed, and they've given us the same eye masks as the seat. We're going to check out the Caledonian Sleeper eye mask set that they give us. Eye mask, nice. Pretty, perfect for your face. Pretty comfortable. Yeah. Earplugs. Because, oh, you know, we're going to be on a moving train, so I'm sure it's going to be pretty noisy. Two chocolate bars, which is fancy. And we can choose our breakfast for the morning, which is included in the ticket of the ensuite for two. Bed. Kind of hard. <laughs> Actually. How thin is this? It's like a six incher on metal. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty hard, actually. <laughs> the sheets, they're okay. Yes? For you? Yes, right. everything's great. You know, everything works lighting, heating. Yes, we're just going through it. Staff is so nice. <laughs> Anyways, sheets are just okay. We got two water bottles. So it's temperature controlled, so we can adjust our likeness of warmth or coolness. Light, reading light. That just blinded me because I look right into it. And dimmer. Off. On. Off. Being able to control the light is amazing because when we were in the standard seats, the lights were on the entire night. Something I'm already noticing is there's not storage for my knickknacks. It's overnight, so I always have my noise canceling headphones, my lip balm, and my charger and things like that. But there's no like, you know, on airplanes you have that like basket in the front. There's not, there's not that. There's not that. We have our water bottles and nowhere to really even put them. I guess we could hang them up like that. That's supposed to be like a coat rack. So I think it'll be okay. All right, there's a lot of headroom. For you, maybe. Oh, yes, for me. <laughs> I'm 4'11 and I have a lot of space. And USB ports over here. This is the UK plug. USB ports being caller host, as he just mentioned. We can window light? Oh, window light. That is the right side of the sleeper. We have a window here so we can watch the views of the nighttime. <laughs> Hopefully we can still see a little bit of Scotland as we leave. Impressions, I think this is gonna be a really nice train. I've checked out the bathroom. It's pretty sweet. Door is opening. Door is opening. WC is occupied. 
This is a really, really, really cool bathroom. It's huge. I would hate to be somebody who forgets to lock it and somebody just presses the open button. <laughs> That'd be awkward, huh? Door is closing. After the rain, lime rose and sandalwood soap. It smells like soap. Don't drink the water. We also have some hooks for your jackets. Nice little touch. And in the bathroom, Actually, the bathroom looks quite nice. Thank you. Okay, oh, it's a wet bath. We've got a toilet. It looks pretty nice. When you put it down, you can shower. I think Matt's gonna be the tester of the shower today. And they give you fresh sheets in a green sack. Towels. Towels, it's late guys, all aboard at nine. All right, that's the, that's the toilet. I'm really excited, I think this is gonna be a fun experience. Probably not gonna see a whole lot tonight because it's dark and we're not really close to a full moon, but I think it's all gonna be about the morning experience. It is also 11 hours in a small seat, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Our carry-on items fit up top and that's something that we were a little bit worried about, so I thought I'd mention it here, if it's helpful at all. Let me know in the comments if it was. If you have larger luggage, there's storage up front in this car. So I can tell you right now, the walking space right next to the bed is about, I would say two feet which is very, very tight. We've got two carry-on suitcases that fit nicely under the bed, and we have two backpacks, but we're only gonna be able to fit one backpack down there, and the other backpack's gonna have to stay out. Okay, first impressions of the room. I think it's gonna be pretty cozy tonight, and it's definitely better than the seat, but every single video I've seen on YouTube has called this a luxury experience, and I think I expected a little bit more based on the price tag and the fact that everyone calls it a luxury experience. I think if you're just one person traveling and you'd like to be able to sleep in a car, this would be very comfortable for you. For two people with four pieces of luggage that aren't even that big, it's a little tight in here. So I'm super excited to actually be able to get a proper night's sleep on a train because if you've followed us before and you've maybe seen our cross-country train video as we traveled across America in economy class, awesome experience that we'll never do again. <laughs> I'm excited to get a chance to get a proper horizontal night's sleep on a train. I noticed too that there's actual storage for some of your knickknacks, which we didn't have in the seat. All aboard. All aboard. <laughs> We were told when we first got on that once we were ready to order food, we just had to press a little button and somebody would come around and take our order. We've been spending pretty much the last 15 minutes looking at the menu and I think we're ready to decide. So for dinner, I'll do the, um, the stuffed bell pepper, please. May I have the chicken bacon cheddar cheese barbecue? Just to let you know, we'll be around 20, 30 minutes because we are quite busy. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Yep, that's fine. All right, we ordered everything. They definitely give priority to the first class passengers. And a lot of things that are on the allergy menu are not available to us as it's in the regular seats. But that's okay because we're gonna get to enjoy that on the way back. Came up to 36.50 pounds. So that's roughly probably like 50 bucks US, which is kind of expensive. But if you consider that it's breakfast, snacks, and dinner, and two coffees, I don't think it's that bad. So we'll see how the quality of the food is and the portions and we'll determine if it's really worth it. I think I'm going to do the traditional Scottish breakfast. Right, I'm going to go with the smoked salmon omelette with avocado and sourdough, but gluten free. Since the menu is exactly the same, we've opted to not get dinner tonight because, well, you'll see. Megan approved. It's kind of nice having our own bathroom. That's not like talking to me. Maybe we had to be moving, but I finally figured out the reclining chair thing. It's not great, but it's not bad. Oh. Good news, I'm super short and I can get my legs on the footstool, so. I'm about 5'10 and I don't have much leg room. 
It is now 9.43 and we are off to London and they are so punctual. We're gonna go to the club car and order some drinks. They gave us a key and we should be able to tap twice. Oh, maybe this is it. One, two. Red should be locked. The club car is available to those with a double on suite ticket, club on suite ticket, and a classic ticket. When we got there, we realized there was a different menu. So as we thought about what we would have for dinner, we ordered some wine. Be careful, yeah. Thank you. It's all right. It's completely cold. Complete disappointment. The food frozen. Completely awful value for money. I think that was eleven pounds for that for half a pepper. That's frozen. Awful. Very curious how the first class experience will be with food. As you can see, I chose poorly. We really had a hard time deciding if we would order any more food because we had such a horrible time in the sea experience. After lots of talking about it and thinking about it, we're gonna give dining a second chance. We're hoping that there's a little bit of a different experience here in first class. Since we've decided to give dining another try, we both ordered one really expensive <laughs> dining uh, option, but we felt like we needed to give the dining another chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. And it came out steaming hot, which is a stark difference from Matt's really sad, sad, <laughs> frozen. <laughs> Little pepper. <laughs> Like we ordered something. It's like a layered potato cake. Good? Flavor. It has actual flavor. With a reaction like that, I cannot wait to dig in. Absolutely redeemed. All this is amazing. Yep. <laughs> when we're like trying to be fancy, we're like, oh. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. I am really, really enjoying this. Another thing I wanted to add is that it's actually pretty quiet. We're in a train, it's moving, trains are generally pretty loud, but I'd say the loudness in the room itself is really not that bad at all. Here you have the chance to shower either before you go to bed or right when you wake up, or maybe you just wanna wake up in the middle of the night and take a shower, but we're gonna find out what it's all about. Let's see, you got hot water. Uh, kind of weak pressure, but uh, water's pretty warm. Oh, there we go. Steady flow. You know what? This is pretty nice. I was a little worried that the, uh, the pump was going to do the the entire time. You know, I take back everything I said about this place. I really like it. Yeah. It is so nice to be able to take a shower, and I'm going to get in my pajamas and be able to get into a nice warm bed. I don't think you can beat that. There's just something about still water from a can that just seems wrong. Where are the bubbles? <laughs> this is kind of exceeding my expectations because I can actually get ready for bed. Whereas the last time, well, we did really get ready. Door is opening. Door is closing. WC is occupied. I feel like that was really complicated for no reason. <laughs> Beard oil going, good stuff. <laughs> and the fact that they provide us towels, it's pretty great. Oh. 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 Wrong lover! 
I'm just excited that we can lay down on a train. How cool is that? I know. The sheets are a little scratchy, but they're not like unbearable scratchy. Just ignore the stains. Oh, that looks like makeup. We definitely stayed in worse hotel sheets. Yeah, there's a bit of a stain that looks like someone else's makeup, but it's okay. I just wondered if they've changed the sheets since the last person that slept here. I would just certainly hope so. I hope so too. It's time for bed. All right, it is finally bedtime. We are moving and headed towards London. So we're gonna get hopefully a good night's sleep and let you know how it went in the morning. Night night. Night night. Good morning, everybody. I actually slept really well. Could use another couple hours, to be honest, but bed's nice and firm, blankets are comfortable, it was relatively quiet, the movement was kind of nice, it was probably like being rocked like a little baby in a little cradle kind of thing. Eight out of 10, would do it again. I'm most excited to see what breakfast is gonna be all about. If it's anything like dinner, I'm so excited. You ready for breakfast? I don't wanna get up. I'm so comfortable in this bed. Good morning from Scotland. It is absolutely beautiful outside. Scotland's so green and so wet and so lush. I love it. They just came by with their breakfast. Let's see if it's any better than last night's dinner. I got a gluten-free bacon roll. It is a piece of bacon on bread. Look at bacon. I think the food is a complete waste of money on this trip. A complete ripoff. Much better than a standard car. That's a proper cup of coffee. Let's see if the coffee's any good. It's too hot. The coffee's not very good. But they did come with shortbread cookies, which are pretty amazing. Truly unforgettable. <laughs> That's not what I expected it to be, so. Truthfully, this is way earlier than I can even eat breakfast, but since it's included in the fare, I get a full Scottish meal. <laughs> mm. I think I can speak for both of us. The food, not very good. The sleep, arguably even worse. The comfort of the chairs, not great. You couldn't pay me to do this again. Right on time. I have to say, I would definitely do that again if I were traveling between England and Scotland because it was such a nice experience. The staff was really nice and definitely night and day from the seat experience we had last time. Uncomfortable, terrible food, mediocre service, awful sleep. I think the bedrooms can be a little bit bigger because I think for two people, it's really hard to exist in the same space. Hallways are really small. The views this morning were really great, so. That's a little bit of a redeeming factor. Otherwise, I probably would never do that again. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.